Right now I'm waiting for a customer to come pick up his Ecutech kit. Um, he has a car that I currently do not tune, but Ecutech does support it. His tuner, I believe he said, is in another state. So I guess he does not want to wait for his tuner to ship it out. Uh, you know, just like me, I don't like waiting for stuff. So um, he sent me a message that if I sold these, and obviously I do, I'm a master tuner. So he's on his way here to pick up his Agitech programming kit. So yeah, even if I don't tune your car and you need like a replacement um, or you know, you're going somewhere else, totally fine. I have people that are tuned by someone else and they still follow me. You know, sometimes they ask me questions. You know, you should be asking your tuner those questions. I'm not gonna say what they're asking me, but you know, you should be asking your tuner, but you know, people still end up asking me the question. So it, it doesn't matter who's gonna tune your car. You could still purchase this from me and um, pick it up. You ready? Go. What? <laughs> <laughs> you jumped. You jumped. You read it. You read it. Alright, hold on. Alright. You ready? Yeah. You ready? And. Oh, no. <laughs> Too much Starbucks. Alright, you ready? Yeah. You ready? And go. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you, lost, you lost traction. <laughs> So that motor you just saw, uh, George built it, it was shipped over from I think New Hampshire or something like that. I don't remember uh, what it said on the receipt, but they shipped it over uh, to have George fix some things and have the motor built and then now it's being shipped back. Uh, that one is uh, already tuned, that car is tuned, it's a D. Um, it's tuned by another shop and um, hopefully now they can like make more power out of it uh, without having to worry about anything so yeah everything looks good that, that crank turned really really smooth so everything should work as long as they install it correctly all right so I have this uh, arcade machine that I'm working on you can see I have a bunch of stuff wired up but I already had this wired up so it's asking me to insert the coins because it's the actual if you know about like um, ROM files but it's the actual file from the arcade but I bought an actual uh, I don't know what you call this like the coin machine so I'm trying to wire it up so I can actually put coins because right now I have it set to this button right here so if I press it it acts like if I put a coin in but I want it to be a little more realistic so I only have this side wired up right now uh, I haven't tried it yet so this is the first try so hopefully I wired it up right it does not come with instructions and it has like extra pins on there and there's not enough wires so I'm not too sure uh, what's going on with that but I try to make sense of it and right now the that original button that I had set up works so I want it to work with both so I have one coin and I'm gonna put the there's one credit in there right now because I press the top button and I'm gonna put this quarter in and let's see <laughs> uh, it's pretty cool it actually worked um, so right now so the way these work so this is a real a real one this is legit right here uh, there's supposed to be a box on the bottom to catch the coin so right now it just fell on the wood so I just have the lights off in here so you could see better because there was a glare on the uh, arcade screen 
so the lights have to be off right now because it's nighttime but it works that's pretty cool so let's hit start yeah that's pretty sick so now I just have to um, let me um, turn on the lights now so I can show you so there's an actual like cover that goes right here um, which I have it already I took it off just so I could test this before I start cutting everything um, so yeah I have to cut so I can mount this onto the cover um, so yeah and this is just from the screws when you screw them on um, obviously it, it comes off but yeah pretty happy it works so I just have to wire up the other side well I have to switch them because I have this side hooked up so yeah I have to wire up both of them and then cut on the cover and then have like more of a real experience on this arcade machine so that's pretty cool huh and then this is the main screen so this um, cabinet which is called the cabinet this game system does not come like this it only comes with the one or three games it comes with um, that you you buy like you can get this at Walmart or Costco you can get it online the price varies uh, I think it's only like two to six hundred dollars now uh, when I got it I think it was like 140 140 or 150 but the price has gone up now um, so after that I ripped out the internals so it's just the skeleton it's just the cabinet um, so I ripped out the internals that it came with which is just uh, you know the chip for the three games and then I installed a whole other system in here but I'm using the same screen so I also replaced these I don't remember oh they do not light up the original ones don't light up so I bought new ones and I wired them up I do have the ball on the joystick it's just I took it off because I'm testing the uh, coin slot machine so I'm gonna put those back when I do the cutting so I can mount the uh, coin slot machine and then I just I did these right here so I don't forget what the buttons do uh, those words were already there and then the layout of the buttons are gonna change depending on which machine you buy like maybe you purchase the Mortal Kombat one well the the buttons are different so I kept the same layout for this um, particular cabinet which is the Street Fighter one so the Marvel games usually have three and three um, the Mortal Kombat it's, it's a different layout but yeah, it has it has tons of games I, I don't even know how many and I usually well I don't really have time but honestly maybe like five minutes I'll play for five minutes like once a week um, I usually just play the arcade games but it has other other systems in here so if you know uh, how to do like wiring and you know something about computers this is a um, pretty fun thing to work on it's pretty simple actually um, if you don't know what you're doing then you're gonna have a really hard time I think there are some YouTube videos online but it just might take you double trip or four times the amount of time to um, rip out the original system and modify it for a bunch of games compared to someone who already knows at least something of what they're doing but yeah this is a pretty cool thing um you know it's also a good gift for someone even if you don't modify it you just like they have different games like mortal kombat street fighter i think there's pac-man um there's a bunch of stuff just check online so amazon costco walmart you know just go on google uh type in one up arcade machine something like that it'll come up um, you do not have to modify it you just buy it usually they come with like one two or three games already um, but yeah and then I just threw away the uh, original computer system that this comes with because 
it's just boring. It doesn't really let you do anything. But yeah, this is the arcade one. And then this MAME system, uh, which is multiple arcade machine emulator. Um, I used to have this on my computer back like in the 90s. Um, I think that's when they just made this. So when I started getting back into it sometime last year, actually, you know what? I got this machine a year ago. Well, it's going to be a year, maybe like next week or two. I got this about a year ago. Um, but I started getting back into it because I saw it. And, you know, um, you get that feeling that reminds you of stuff. <laughs> but yeah, this is pretty cool. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing this arcade video clip with my tuning stuff. This is the cover that the um, coin machine is going to go into. So we just need to cut it, cut a square, or rectangle, whatever. I didn't pay attention to uh, the shape of it, but maybe I'll have uh, George do it for me. Hopefully he'll cut it for me. And then I could bring it back home and install it and have some fun. But yeah, so I know like the videos for tuning they can get very repetitive unless it's something different maybe like a turbo car or so you know some, you guys know what I mean by something different so I'm trying to add different things into my videos my videos are more of like a vlog sort of thing so like what happens during the day you know um, that's why some of the tuning videos like the pools are cut because you already know like what the how the pool is Maybe the pool will, the dyno pool will start in the middle or towards the end. Uh, so I'm just trying to add different things so it's not, it's not repetitive. It's not too boring. Um, but yeah, so maybe I can add some other things. I do have some tuning things in mind. Uh, I'm testing some, few, a couple things actually. But one of them I've been testing them for about a month. And it's because I have to wait for something. So it's almost complete. Um... I just have to keep waiting for something, um, but I'm working on it, and that video will probably be pretty interesting. Um, so hopefully, let me see, it's uh, mid-September, so hopefully by the end of September or early October, I'll have it. It just depends on this thing that I'm working on that I can't really say right now. So yeah, hopefully I can add different types of things. To my videos are new types of um, ideas and testing to do.